Okay, Ken and Jeffrey, uh, we're looking at your guys' tank. Um, and I'm standing currently on a stepping stool. I'm gonna come down and let's start with the um, outside dimensions and the inside dimensions of the chamber. So, if we grab it here, the wall is about one inch thick. It's actually 24 millimeters to be exact. And then we get to about 81 inches, which is 80 inside dimensions to about 85 inches outside dimensions. Uh, let's go do the depth. Start at one. We are outside dimensions about 26. Inside dimensions about 24. And then to the top of the lid, it's it's a weird angle, but it's about eight inches. Let me see if I can do it. Yep. Actually to the bottom of the lid is about eight 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 inches. Actually it's about eight inches to the lid top, about seven and a half to the lid bottom. Um, I mentioned it, I said it was eight to the eight to the bottom, but it's actually eight to the top seven and a half to the bottom of the lid. I just wanted to call it, uh, clarify that. And the total chamber height is about 12. Um, let's go take a look at the feet. Um, right here. So as you know, that is about, uh, about 38. Um, so, and of course, your feet are adjustable, so you'll be able to um, adjust the height of the table. Um, so let's start here with um, the locking mechanism. It's a simple locking mechanism, it slides. You'll slide it, and what you can do is you can open the door. And now it's open. And you can essentially do this, it's identical mechanism on every door and we have three total and then moving on here here's the third one opens and we have this door and then the same thing here you close it closes it here and it's pretty tight tight and sturdy so it is a it's a good fit so you're gonna there's not much play here in the door and then here the same thing locks it there's not much play. Also, um, we did not do this, um, uh, we did not talk about this during the design phase, but what we did as we were building this is we made you um, an extra, like a door rester, um, where the door will rest as it comes down. It just rests on that piece. Um, had we not had it, the door would have just, you know, sometimes you can have, you know, operators grab this door and let it go and it'll just slam against the bottom um, of this tank. But since we have this rester, it's not going to be the case. And then um, here we have three hinges. I'm not sure if we uh, talked about two or three. I think three is better because it'll get give you less momentum less twisting momentum um, and every door has that um, you have three hinges on this one as well and then you have three hinges on this one as well and then let's move on to our overflow tank which is right here is our overflow tank and essentially if we take a look at this um, as your water level reaches here and it starts going beyond nine inches, the water will overflow. So you are always going to be below nine inches because the water will overflow into here. And let me show you how this is all plumped here. It goes from this fitting and an elbow and then it goes through this hose and it bypasses this valve. And here at the bottom, this is your tank valve. So closed and then opened. And this is anchored to our chamber and you can kind of see the drain valve from here from the top. And right now it is closed. So this is essentially it. Uh, this is your tank. Uh, let me show you from the sides. Here we go. 
this is essentially your tank. So if you have any questions, uh, concerns, uh, suggestions, uh, comments, they're all welcome. Uh, we will not ship this until we get the green light from you. Uh, so I just want to make sure that I get everything here. I get every angle. Oh, and I also forgot to mention throughout this whole video is that um, everything is stainless steel. So uh, the fasteners, the lock nuts, uh, hinges, uh, it is all stainless steel or aluminum such as this locking mechanism, um, this holder, uh, the valve is stainless steel and um, we have some brass here but uh, the valve is stainless steel and uh, this T is also stainless steel you can kind of see what is that 304 I believe yep oh. 304, 316, or um, what is it? 188 8 stainless steel or aluminum. So there will be no rusting uh, going on as you fill up your tank. Um, and of course, the, the tank is tight, uh, it's essentially anchored to this uh, table assembly. Uh, on this side as well as on this side so this is pretty much it so this is your tank like I said questions comments concerns suggestions um, they're all welcomed uh, we will not ship this until um, we get a green light from you guys so um, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, thank you very much Ken Jeffrey um, and um, Please contact me if you have any questions. Bye.